Hey guys, it's Daryl with the Allegheny Mountain Living Channel. Hope everybody's doing well. It's Thursday morning, not even sure what the date is. Mm, almost September, I can tell you that. Heading into uh, Johnstown, Pennsylvania today. I had some guys start a new job. It's uh, pretty unique, and I figured I'd shoot some video on it. I thought you guys might get a kick out of this. It is actually a uh, old original passenger train station that the Pennsylvania Railroad built many years ago. And uh, we're doing some rehab work to it. Uh, two of the guys are down there this morning and they're pulling down some of the original uh, concourse pendant lights at the uh, ticket, ticket booth, ticket aisle. So I'm going to take you guys inside and show you this thing. It's uh, really cool. Check this out here as soon as we get to town. This is a concourse where you buy your tickets. This out here is the cool part. Check this out. Mini Grand Central Station. The benches are all heated, hot water for in the winter time. They don't build them like they used to, that's for sure. Up that barrel ceiling, there we go. Look at that. This building was built 1915 and 1916 to meet the You're good. requirements for the ever-growing city of Johnstown. It's really in disarray right now. Boys are taking all these lights down. They're getting ready to redo the plastered ceilings in there. Show you guys the tunnel. This tunnel goes out to the loading platform on the main line. This is underground here. Pretty cool. A lot of history. My grandfather worked for the Pennsylvania Railroad. There's the boys taking the pictures now. Huh? Is a history. There's back in the day when they opened her up. None of these are here now. The street's all vacant. I'll show you when we go across. My truck's actually parked over here. And here's some postcards from the 20s. That was a big deal, you know. New Pennsylvania Railroad Depot, Johnstown, PA. And here's a cool real life picture. See the old truck.
built 1915 and 1916 to meet Johnstown's increasing needs as an important freight and passenger stop on the main line of Pennsylvania Railroad. View art style. Pretty cool. You could pause this and read it. Junior moving the lights. Check out this bathroom we just found. This is the original bathroom for the passengers. What a shame. These stalls are marble. <laughs> marble stalls. Yeah, that's all marble right there. Could you guys imagine what it would cost to build a building like this today? There's two of the original doors there. They're not looking too good. Marble stalls. Wow. All the Pretty cool. Yeah, you can actually see you got a piece of green marble from the train station. Wow. Souvenir. Thanks, Ron. Some more souvenirs. Even this is all marble. Marble, marble, and more marble. You can see the radiators. And there's a chase under the floor. For the bunches. Old passengers warm in the winter time. Green Central Station, New York, set up the same way. Very neat. You guys, good view of the outside. See the clock tower up there. Main lines up here above the wall. the road and I'll show you the front. Look at that. What a grand building, huh? 1916. What a shame that it's in the condition it is. Need to get this bad boy fixed up. I thought you guys would get a kick out of seeing this. I always enjoyed this building and thought it was a really neat piece of architecture. Even if it is in rough shape, so. This is actually the freight depot attached over here, but they used to lease it out. There was a company in here that just actually moved out recently. getting replaced up top doing some work up there with the electrical so starting to bring her back in into a uh, condition here's another thing that I'm gonna do a video on one of these days I'm across the street now where I showed you that picture where all the buildings used to be which are all gone now for the most part that is our uh, incline plane I am going to do a video on that as part of this historical series. That is the world's steepest vehicular incline plane.
was built after the first great flood in Johnstown in 1889 as a way to get people out of the city up there. That's called Westmont up above. That's where all the mine superintendents and mill superintendents lived. White hats. And uh, that was their way of getting folks out of, out of Johnstown if they had another flood, which they had two more after that. So, And they claimed that 1936 had saved a lot of lives having that there. So, But that'll be an upcoming video when we have time. Here's the main line. We just happen to be in a caboose. This old ice box. Pretty cool, huh? Wrong pulling the brakes. We're gonna take off. Dayton Manufacturing. So there's a model and serial number there. Model 81 ice box. This frickin' caboose comes off the rails. Bunks. When we were kids, Johnny Shingler, we put up 30-30 in this mob a few years ago. Me and him and his cousin, Jimmy Wills, playing on a... Pretty cool. Breaks the work. Slide by it. Oh, there's still eh, somebody repainted it. That's not original. There's the main line, that's why I brought him up here. There's a train station. Things held up pretty well. It's been sitting here for a long time. Living on the train. Just think living in that. Spending your career in a caboose. I guess there could be worse places to live. So that's the tour of the uh, Johnstown, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania Railroad train station depot. Like I said, it was built in 1916, started in 1915. I guess they worked on it for about a year. Uh, just a beautiful piece of architecture here in Johnstown. And I figured it'd be a good video to kick off the series. I just landed this project last week actually, and it was quite convenient because I wanted to shoot some video of this anyhow and it'd be nice if it wasn't under construction but you guys got a good view of it I hope uh, I hope they continue to do work to it and get it back into good shape because it's really rough I actually didn't realize how rough it was inside because I haven't been in it in many years I was pretty young the last time I was inside the train station but uh, you hate to see anything like that go to waste. I believe it's a National Historic Landmark on the register. And if it's not, it should be anyhow. So, that's about it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you uh, like the video, please hit the thumbs up. If you know anybody like the channel, please uh, get the word out there. Share the videos with them. This is the uh, new series that we're starting when I have time I'll shoot a video from time to time different things around the mountains here historical historical uh, presence in the area if you guys aren't already a subscriber to the channel please hit the subscribe button there's always something going on you can follow us on Instagram if uh, you guys do the Instagram thing at Allegheny underscore mountain underscore living 
and I guess that's it. I will see you guys on the next video, and until next time, have a great evening.